When Chief Warren Officer 3 John Conwell left the Army, he traded in attack helicopters for much furrier models. Me too. Come on. After he retired in 2010, Conwell started No Kill El Paso, an advocacy group of local rescues working to establish a citywide no kill policy for animals. With a lot of determination, Conwell has set about saving El Paso's abandoned pets, including dogs like Sasha and her puppies. I had gotten a call from uh, some people asking if, if we could help rescue her. They knew that she had puppies, but they couldn't see the puppies. We spent nine days, about 50 man hours, drove over 500 miles, and uh, about two hours underneath the trailer recovering her puppies. But the main thing was to build her trust. Luckily, Conwell isn't alone in his efforts. Melina Garros owns the Howliday Inn Kennel and works closely with many military families to board dogs due to training and deployments and takes in dogs like Sasha when she can. To help El Paso come one step closer in becoming a no-kill city, Conwell and Garrow search all families, military and civilian, to put the animals' interests first. We get a lot of calls and emails and messages from people saying, I got PCS orders, what do I do with my dog? Get a dog that you can take with you, or if you don't want to do that, you can contact one of the rescues and ask them if they can foster the dog until it can be adopted. They say they still have a long way to go in making El Paso a no-kill city, but it's worth the fight. Come on. When you love what you do, and uh, I work seven days a week uh, right now, it's a tough job, but since you love what you do, you just do it, you know. From Fort Bliss, Army Sergeant Janelle Sennert, 16th MPAD.